And we're back for more Fright. I'm your Gibbs. This is a awesome looking game. Loving the art here. Look at the like it's like a, like a sand blowing in the wind or something. Now, uh, this is interesting. So in the last episode, this is how I played the entire episode, and you know, life was good. We had a bunch of stuff here. Check this out. The entire interface disappears. I am floored. I have never seen a game do this. And look, I can move around. Interviews will be there. I can even, like, you know, move back and forward and whatever, and it's not there. This is blowing my mind. I love it. I really do. It's almost like I'm playing, you know, Fallout 3 or something. Like, it's just fantastic. So anyways, we're going to play like this for a little while, because I am... I'm really excited about that. Can you tell? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this sun right here. Ooh, we have a puzzle. So, let's read about the puzzle? Sure we can. Help the farmer get ready for the fair. Drag all the goods he needs into his cart. Oh, I see. So we gotta go... Oh. Wow. We gotta get eggs here. Chickens gotta eat those. Make those. Oh, I see. We got one corn in the cob, three eggs, and a jug. And we gotta get rid of that hay. Neat. <laughs> what is this doing? Got ourselves a teddy bear. Okay, wait, are we? Oh, no. Okay, I was just gonna say there were. What are we doing there? But looks like we got ourselves a plush bunny and a hook of wire. We can move forward. Now, our map, if I look at it here, just a reminder that this game apparently takes place in the late 50s and they've really got the motif nailed. Uh, the whole idea of there being this motel and the art style of the cars and it's just really well done. So now I'm back here and this we might be able to actually use hook on a wire here maybe. Okay. Okay the hook is inside but how do, oh the magnet Oh, wow. Okay, so we have to... This is so neat. So basically, let me just read the instructions here. Lead the magnets to the coin. Select an arrow to move the magnet. Be careful. You only have a limited amount of wire. So I have to go get this down here. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I guess I have to go this way then, do I? Whoa. Go down here, I think. Basically, the amount of wire is kind of like the number of turns you have. Pretty neat. There we go. Now we got our three nickels, we can make a phone call. I don't know where you live, but it costs a lot more than three nickels to make a phone call at the payphone. That is for sure. Fifteen cents. So now we meet. Need to make this phone number here. I'm not sure if I have to. Yep, there we go. Alright, we have a dial tone. 247. 2. 5. 8. 4. So if it sounds like I'm kind of fan, bon fan boning, no. Wait, what? Did I do it right? Oh, jeez, they phone back? That looks like a combination. Okay. There's no way I'm using that creepy phone ever again. 2601, I don't necessarily know what that's referring to. 
I don't know if that will work here. Two. Six. Zero. Okay, so maybe I do know how. And then one. So we have that. Dollar bill! What happened there? You have entered a hidden object puzzle. Complete the actions and find all the objects listed at the bottom of the screen. I actually totally lost my train of thought here, and I guess that is okay. Let's just continue to play the game here. This looks like a highly interactive scene here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Open jewelry box. Uh, okay. We have a little friend over there. Looks like we need another friend. I got a book. Okay, we need a whole, whole bunch of rings here. A hand with five rings. Is that a clue? Sure looks like one. But I gotta find all these things. Flower ornament goes there. Flip that around. Oh, hello there. Scissors. Sure, we can cut all that off. Uh, Ella, wasn't that the name of the missing girl from the flyer near the bridge? Sure. So what does this mean? Ella. Oops. Ooh. Handle. A ring. I don't know where all these rings go yet. Oh wow, it's actually forcing me to make choices here. Okay, that's actually show me... Wait a minute. Are you telling me there's more than four rings? Yep. That is exactly what this is game's telling me. Oh, maybe it goes on the pinky though. Will it save that there? Let me just see. Red, black, green, blue, orange. There we go. Red, black, green, blue, orange. Cool lighter. Light the candle, maybe? Or not. It says lit candle. Well, maybe we gotta put it in a stand first. Sure. Yeah, that would be dangerous to light it on the side like that. Excellent. What? Oh, she cut! I got cut! Okay, okay, we can handle this. Oh, boy. So we got a dollar bill. Eight out of thirty-four dollar bills. What was that all about? Whoa, what was that? Was I really inside the photograph? What even more weird than... For a few moments, I felt like I was a little girl rummaging at her mom's stuff. Crazy. So here's the guide here. It looks like we've got six chapters plus the bonus. And of course, we have all the dollar locations. I really love the art style in the help section. It totally just is reminiscent of... Well, I shouldn't say reminiscent. I don't I never lived back then, but it does make me think of like a 1950s airport, uh, you know, safety manual. I don't know. It has that kind of graphical feel to it. Yeah, I could be wrong, but... Oh, shots are actual hidden object scenes. Oh. That is so cool. Okay. I like it. 
gonna have an action available there. But yeah, so this is really nifty with the disappearing interface. I'm totally digging that. And I was just gonna say that I'm kind of fanboning. Fanboning? Oh, I keep. I just said it again. Blind? The sign says no vacancy. That means you need to get out of here. Okay. Where'd you come from? Alright, so... I didn't realize the sign said no vacancy. You told me to get lost. You're so mean. Oh, wait, wait. What was on the couch there? Oh, nothing. I think I had a dollar bill there last time. Alright, let's go talk to our dude. Alright, I have your bandage. Now I can try and get up carefully. Was that a car over there just now? Sure you looks like one. Go take a look. It might be our ticket out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. You should go check out that car. Whoa! Oh no, I should get to the bridge and make sure everyone is alright. Okay, this is bad. Chain is a start, but I need something to connect to the car. A bunny? Like, what am I... Can I go forward? Can't leave that poor woman and her baby alone! Oh my goodness, okay. Hi there! Help us! Please! Save my baby! What about you? Need to cut the belts to remove the cradle. I have another. This is like super action y here. Ah, there's no way out! The car will drop off the bridge if I move! But don't. Don't move too much. I might be able to help you. I hope I can help you. Uh, whoa, what is it trying to do? <laughs> Grab onto that. There you go. Look at the live actress. That is so cool. Thank you so much. We'd both be dead if it wasn't for you. Shh. Hey, that other car drove up to the motel just before us. Maybe they need help, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I keep saying fan boning, but basically this game is just blowing my mind. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Welcome back, honey. You've been asleep for hours. You got knocked out by... something. There's something wrong with this place. This old TV is making noise, but it's not even plugged in. Can you believe it? Oh, for crying out loud. If that TV wasn't making so much noise, I might be able to think of a way to help Hank. Okay. What do we have here? I was glad the moment I saw the motel owner. Sadly, he didn't feel the same way. Why doesn't he want to help? Doesn't he see there's something awful going on? The old woman was kind enough to help me into a motel room after I got knocked out. She's had a tough day too. This seems... Well, this place seems to be putting her on edge. What with the black frog and the TV that works even when it's not plugged in. She was so shaken up she dropped her car key down the drain. Really? She did that? I don't think she did it yet. Oh, maybe she did it yet. Oh yeah. 
To retrieve the old woman's key, I need a wrench. What is this black mist? Is that another lost reference, just like the hatch? <laughs> Something must have scared the crows. I like my cup here. I'm a star. Look at me being all star-like. This is a very unique receptacle. Normally they have two, one on top of the other. It, it will look like that, but there's usually like a top one and a bottom one. It's a nice wide windowsill. I could probably make something here. Oh, I see. Okay, it's like a workbench or something. So, what else can we look at? This place is totally falling apart. Oh, another one there. TV set's unplugged. The antenna's ruined. If I had some metal rods, I could make one. No, I don't have metal rods. Guess we're not. Oh, I have the knob though. This TV won't work properly without a new antenna. Can we go out here? <gasps> Dollar bill. Nine dollars. Room one, room two, room three. There's our wrench. Gonna go back this way for a second. Anything else over here? Can I look at her car? Oh, I see. We're going to need her car keys. That's where the rooms are. Okay. Navigating is working out nicely. And there's the rude manager. Something hiding down there. Oh. There's a dollar bill right there. This is interesting. The second horn is obviously missing. Ouch, I should have worn or I should have known better. I'll have to protect my hands. Okay. So what am I supposed to do here? I think I might go shopping at the end of this episode, just to give you folks a bit of a sneak peek at what that's all about. Uh, as far as I can understand, there's souvenirs or something that we can buy with all our monies. I don't think corn bloomed that well, but at any rate, I can't reach the flower. So let's go back here. We do have the wrench here. Actually, do I need that? Yes, I do. I need those tongs. Okay. Go back in here. Whoa! Who's this dude? I'll take your dollar bill, though. 